Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about shift basis and its applications. History of the shift basis The term shift base is derived from the name of German chemist Hugo Schiff, who was the first person in 1864 who prepared the, a product by the reaction of primary amine with the carbonyl compounds. So the name shift base was given to that compound. And afterwards, in 1930, the shift bases are widely used as ligands. The shift base can also be considered as subclass of amines. Students, the shift base are most widely used families of organic compounds. Essential material in organic chemistry, shift bases is also known as amines or azomethines. So that's why the shift base is also known as azomethine groups. Classical synthesis is when primary amine is reacted with the carbonyl compounds. What is shift basis? The compounds that are formed as a result of nucleophilic addition reaction of aldehydes and ketones with the primary amines under a suitable conditions which have a carbon nitrogen double bonds in their structure are called as shift bases. Shift base is a nitrogen derivative of an aldehyde air ketone in which a carbon oxygen double bond group is replaced with the carbon nitrogen double bonded group, so which is also known as azomethine group. Because the shift base contain an azomethine group, so they are also known as azomethine. Shift bases are the vast group of organic compounds characterized by the presence of the double bond linking the carbon and the nitrogen atoms. The compound's flexibility is produced by the numerous ways in which the alkyl or aryl substituents may have combined with them. Shift bases are prepared from the aromatic aldehydes and aromatic amines are more stable and more effective. Structure of the shift bases Students, the azomethine group appears to be the one of the reason for making the many types of base-base compounds of great importance in large areas of industrial applications. As you can see its structure, carbon-nitrogen double bond is the main reason for the shift basis and that is also called as azomethine group. As you can see, three R's are attached to the carbon-nitrogen double bonded group. R3 is an alkyl group and it always should be an alkyl group, not any kind of hydrogen atom. But the R1 and R2 can be hydrogen atom. Shift bases containing hydroxyl groups on the different positions got a great interest because they have different pharmacological activities. For example, antibacterial, anti-cancer and antioxidants. The shift base compounds which contain hydroxyl group in ortho positions have two forms, keto and enol form, as you can see its structures. Classification of the shift bases the classification of the shift bases on the basis of the carbonyl compounds. The shift base which are derived from the aldehydes are known as aldamines. The shift base which are derived from the ketones are known as ketamines as it is clear from its structure. Synthesis of the shift bases. Students there are various methods for the synthesis of the shift bases which is vary in reaction time, product and percentage yield. The first method is microwave method. This method is temperature controlled method and used to reduce the reaction time and give high percentage yield. It's the advanced method for the preparation of the shift bases. The second one is greenstone method. Greenstone method is a green method for the synthesis of the shift bases. This is a newly developed method for the preparation of shift bases. The third one is stirring method. This is the conventional method for the preparation of shift bases. This process gives the best yield and easy form the product. This is a little bit slower method and it's time consuming. And the fourth one is reflux method. This is a conventional method for the formation of shift base ligands and it's an effective method for the preparation of ligands. The shift bases are condensation products of ketones and aldehydes with their primary amines by the usage of organic solvents such as ethanol, methanol, tetrahydrofurane and 1,2-dichloroethane. 
as you can see from its general reaction primary amines react with any kind of aldehyde or ketone and give the shift base and h2o is can be produced as a additional product shift bases are formed under the catalysis of acid bases and the heat crystalline solids are the frequent type of shift bases they are weakly basic but at least some of them combine with the strong acids to generate insoluble salts the shift bases are prepared by the reactants of salicylic aldehyde and the various organic amines reactions they are highly colored precipitates are formed immediately applications of the shift bases in the term of biological reactions or in biology the shift bases are often used as intermediate in biochemical reactions they can act as enzyme inhibitors some of the shift bases have antimicrobial antifungal and anti cancer activities in analytical chemistry shift bases can be used as ligand shift base can also be used in the detection and quantification of the metals although the shift bases are known to be good chelating agents and easily prepared and characterized but has a little interest to the uses of their analytical purpose because of their two serious drawbacks they are insoluble in aqueous solutions but soluble in most of the organic solvents so they easily decompose in acidic solutions industrial application of the shift bases the shift bases used in the synthesis of different dyes and the pigments the shift base also served as intermediates in the manufacture of pharma pharmaceuticals and agrochemicals they are utilized in polymer chemistry for creating certain types of polymers okay students so this is all about our today's lecture if there is any specific part of the video you need to be get more explored so let us know in the comment section so we try to make the different videos on that specific section of the video thanks for watching